Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Leo, welcome to your tarot reading for October 24th to the 30th. Let's see what's on the cards for you this week. We've got the nine card block, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome oracles, a lead tarot energy. I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So Leo, I know it's an emotional time for you right now, but you are making important decisions and important moves towards manifesting some kind of big hope, dream or wish here. And I know it's been on pause and I know you're frustrated and I know that you're feeling like things aren't moving ahead, but this is the week to really implement some changes. And I just feel that that Scorpio new moon 25th of October is going to be one of the key moments that you make that decision or take that important action. Let's jump in. First oracle out here, Leo, is the change card. Yes, we are definitely dealing with um, life changes here, okay, and shifts that are going to bring you through to the Empress energy if you choose wisely here. And this one here says, when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. And it's interesting because we'll be finishing on the Empress, the embodiment of the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine energy is about surrender. It is about moving with the natural rhythms and cycles of release and, um, you know, allowing things to unfold as you are driven by your heart and intuition. You will need to work through your fears, though. Actually, this is the new moon in Scorpio card. I knew it was the Scorpio energy, but this is the new moon card. So it might be around 25th of October that you're really feeling um, a lot of the heightened fears, you know, that could be moving close to the decision or when you plan to communicate where you're at with this and you know that could be where this nine of swords energy really plays out I mean it is an energy of stress and tension but it generally comes because of the overwhelm of the mind you know the fears coming up um, believing those to be true so it's really important to stay grounded and drop into the heart and remember why you're making this decision and why you want this change, Leo, in the first place. It is time for you to take the first step, 
Knight of Pentacles, a Virgo energy. It's about you getting clear on the details. It's about you making a plan to finally move forward from a place of a sturdy foundation. So the Knight of Pentacles is saying, don't get too overwhelmed in the thoughts and the fears this week, Leo. Put a plan in place. And even if you just take that first step, that's going to be the first domino that falls and then everything will be in motion and slowly but surely things will start moving because I think it's been a long time coming. You have had to be patient, but now is the time for action. So we've got the Nine of Cups, Hanged Man and the Moon energy here in your, uh, your recent past here. The Moon links to Cancer Pisces for me. What I see in this combination is that you have had some kind of either waiting period or your hands have been tied in trying to achieve some kind of wish fulfillment or some kind of achievement some kind of success here okay now the moon here could say that you know maybe the path just hasn't been clear um you could have been you know dealing with people that had other intentions there could be sort of undercurrents going on here the moon can mean that um you might even have been dealing with somebody who who had sort of two sides or two faces. I always see the tame dog wild wolf in this card. So maybe somebody was talking a big game, but when it's really come down to it, you know, I feel like there's a lack of follow through and I feel like there is potentially somebody else involved here that has been part of that. So, you know, the moon is about seeing things clearly now, okay? Um, not buying into any illusions here but really gaining the clarity of the King of Swords to take a step back, zoom out, and see what has what has happened so far, um, what dots have connected, what picture have they made, you know? And if there hasn't been that achievement and that success that you'd wanted to, it is time for you to, to take action. Now, the Hanged Man energy is an interesting one because it does come before the death energy also associated with Scorpio. Um, and, you know, the hanged man, I often say, the way to get moving again is to accept that an ending or a release or some kind of fundamental transformation is required. And as soon as we come into that place of acceptance, often that is where the liberation starts and that is where you can move into the action phase. With the scorpionic energy that's kind of coming up and coming through me at the moment, it might be that the situation has turned toxic in some way. Either way, it feels like it is blocking, you know, the success here of what you truly wanted to achieve. And what you wanted to achieve is the Ten of Cups. Now, that is your blessed best life reality and that will be different for all of you. This could be in a relationship where you haven't been able to, to achieve that happiness together or maybe you haven't been able to take those next steps. Um, for some of you this will be around work career where you are hoping that that was going to be the vehicle to get you to this ten of cups. Maybe relocating out of the city, living in a peaceful environment, having all your resource needs met with a life partner. So the life area could be slightly different for all of you, but the key theme here is that you're awakening, okay, judgment is here, it's a card of awakening, to the fact that this situation is only eight of cups, okay, it's not nine and it's not ten. The promise was the nine as the gateway to the ten, but it's bottomed out at the eight of cups where you're very clear, Leo, that there is a piece missing, the Ace of Cups is missing, the emotional rebirth here, you know, the missing pieces, the fulfillment, you know, the last pieces of your picture to make it the Nine or the Ten of Cups. And that new moon energy is saying this is the time to potentially be in the action of moving away. Now, the King of Swords stands for that important decision, Leo, and um, I think this is the week to communicate to everyone involved where you're at. As soon as you do that, that is the first step, that is the first domino that really starts this process of liberation for you. Make sure you zoom out and see the big picture. That's what the King of Swords is doing and be objective, take an objective viewpoint, take a new perspective here. So judgment, card of awakening and the last call. 
If there's anyone you need to forgive, if they have, you know, operated maybe in illusionary ways or held withheld information or secrets, forgive them for where they are on their evolution of consciousness, okay? But make the decisions that are right for you. Judgment is the second to last major arcana, Leo, that comes before the world, which is victory and ending cycles that, you know, really are due to, to end. Right now, the clarity that you are getting is where you've been stuck and held back and where you have not been able to really, you know, rise above and really move towards those dreams. Yes, there will be some grieving here. We've got the Five of Cups. Whether you want change or not, you know, um, it is just as hard to to let go of something that is toxic for us. It's it's still the knowing. It's, there's still love involved, okay? It's what I see here. So you might be grieving the genuine disappointment of feeling like you might need to start over or sidestep in some way. But I'll tell you what. Leo, there is two of cups right here, meaning there is new beginnings, new connections, maybe new relationships that are actually closer than what you think. As close as an empress right behind your back, okay? She is the beautiful energy that makes sense as the final card because she is the birther of creation, whether that is you wanting to have a family, whether that's wanting you wanting to birth a new career or, you know, a business or a relocation, whatever is on your heart, she's the one that makes it happen in the material world. And she's literally right behind you. So, you know, change, release is the gateway to the empress, okay? So she's also a very, very positive omen um, when it comes to abundance. And of course, abundance comes in many forms. And she really is asking you to surrender, surrender to what's happening. If you're sort of still in two minds, the, green, uh, the Empress really is a yes card. It's the green light to move forward with what you were intuitively feeling. Okay, let's get one more, Leo. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what gets that plan back on, you know, back in place. This is what gets things building and moving. Um, sometimes the Three of Pentacles can link to uh, home and architecture. So there could be a move involved in this as well. Let's get one more. And of course, um, you know, the three, the Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Pentacles is the earthly realization of the Empress's dream. She's the three in the Major Arcana. I've also got Five of Pentacles in reverse, so it feels like, you know, if there is any sort of financial implication or you're worried about going out on your own and being sort of left out in the cold, that is going to pass. That is just going to be a brief moment, okay? And, you know, you are going to be on your journey towards that Ten of Cups finally. Leo, well, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it resonated for those it's meant for. Do keep in mind, Leo, that being a general reading for the collective, it won't resonate for all of you. But do feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share. I love reading them all and connecting with you over there. And uh, please do hit subscribe on your way out. That will support the channel and keep the readings coming. Just wishing you so much love and magic. Leo, do take care. Bye for now.